How do I get my fussy natural hair to look like this? So before we get into it, if you like content like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on all of your notifications because I upload content like this every single week. And by the way, watch it the end because I've got some bonus footage for you. So today's video is about me showing you how to safely achieve a messy, high puff and kinky coily type full hair very popular in the natural hair community. How can I describe it? It's a fluffy afro or texture bun in an updo style, literally. A five minute quick and easy hairstyle, just the way I like it. Not so long ago, I partially lost my hairline, so I had to pay a visit to a dermatologist. I was uh, requested to stay away from specific hairstyles, such as micro braids, extension braids, tend to add some extra pressure onto that fragile area, aka my edges. So so basically no more tension styles and no edges control edges design no edges swooping or swoops whatever you guys call it so team raw and free edges all the way here which i'm cool with consequently i'm about to show you how to get your kinks in a messy but still a bump high path the easiest way possible in just a couple of minutes mind you if you watch my previous video this is a day three of a flexera set Afro star. go check this video where I'm actually detailing the process how I got my hair looking like exactly like this flexi rod set has been uh, applied on blown out hair by the way it looking nice in my opinion it got frizzier but I love it that way because of the volume team volume over here volume of a definition all day every day <laughs> That's how I like my afros, big, messy, and undefined. So I'll be using here some gold-ish stretchy string. The color doesn't really matter as it would be hidden under hair anyway. You could also use a shoestring, an elastic hairband, any type of lace, to be honest. Some naturals use ribbons, knee high, wear up to you, stockings, you name it, you got options. Any string would do at this point as long as you get to control how tight or loose your scalp can handle the tension that will be applied. Yes, be careful with headaches. On to the installation process now. So what I'm gonna do is to put the string behind my head like so on my neck. I tie it loose at the front as I keep holding it at the same time a bit far away from my face as you can see in the video you don't have to do this but i rather bring my head all the way down to start pushing the string up at the back if that makes any sense i make sure it's over my ears in the meanwhile the crisscross tie at the front is still firmly hold let me push all this up right now I don't know if you guys can see anything at this point i'm just busy pushing that string up that's it at the back while the front crisscross is being tied tightened up up and always up in the meanwhile keep it tight at the front and tighter you could apply some gels to make your puff look neater i can't be bothered because i'll be forced to bristle brush my hairline at some point hell now if you struggle with hairline loss this is the way to go trust me been there done that back to our puff as is a messy one no need to worry about it looking like perfect you end up looking nice trust me on this one the front is maintained hold as i focus on pushing the back up Keep on insisting on this one. Have a look at the sides. In the front, keeps getting tighter. You see, like so. Any fly out left at the back? No. My abdo is emerging. <laughs> Please do tight with moderation though. We want to avoid headaches and of course, any unnecessary breakage. Just as far as you need it to be. Bring it to the back now, when you think it's all good, and tie up to secure at the back, like so. Once you tuck the sides in, because we don't want to see anything than hair hanging. <laughs> Here we go. My puff is standing high in a face. Fluffing time now. I use an Afro peak. You can use a wide tube comb to fluff it all out. We're trying to bring and give the puff more volume. One of my girlfriends has been wondering why does she always see this hairstyle, particular hairstyle on most natural's head. Because it's quick and easy to do. I mean, what else? You don't have to know any kind of tickle technicality in braiding or flat twisting or, you know, crocheting or whatever. It's, anyone can do this which is very handy when one's hair is dirty as well. A great option to postpone hair wash day, actually. Hmm. Please do use a mirror for better control results to your liking. Now to prevent the string from sliding up, I use bobby pins. Ideally one at the top front, like so, and another one at the back. Secure, secure, and secure. 
then I proceed to tie as tight as desired. I actually tie it only once because I want to be able later on to take it down easily. So the goal is secure but not too tight. It's all about balance, you know? <laughs> Back fluffing, fluffing time. Now it looks like I'm wearing some weed as hat. <laughs> well, shape your kinky high puff the way you like it. I use my hands as a backup too, but as usual, I'm just being extra. You do not have to do all this. It's just me. Don't mind the oily face, please. Face being beat since the morning, giving you a closer look to my high puff texture. Mm, love it. All right. That's it. Quick and easy. As a reminder, you can get away with any kind of string. As long as you make sure the back looks fineable. <laughs> it is a high puff essential condition. The perfect back look. A trendy high puff involves gels application to neatly lay your hairline down. Liquid application makes it look moisturized. And the use of a bristle brush on top of it helps to distribute any product used evenly. So how do I maintain this style at night before I go bed? Fold any satin scarf you possess like so. If it's cotton it's just fine. Still works. A satin, cotton, sock, whatever. Make it work. And same goes before you go out or before you apply any sort of makeup. To set your hair down, basically. <laughs> I would also recommend you to add a big bonnet at the top to try to keep whatever work you've been busy creating there. And you can get those at any of your local beauty supplies or even online. Amazon is your friend as well. Your hair will be nice and set the next morning or a few minutes before you leave the house as well works. No gel used by the way. Don't get fooled by the brush used here. All done! <laughs> if you ever feel like reproducing this, let your girl know. I, if you enjoy this type of content, hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel while you're here, especially if you made it this far. Come and be part of the family. In the meanwhile, you can start watching these videos, how I blow out my hair at home like a pro <laughs> that I'm not, and also how I did get this flexi red set afro at home. In the meanwhile, take a great care of you guys. I post every Sunday, so I see you next Sunday for more hair content related videos. Take care of you. Bye.